how to play Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something that you'd like to learn. Your spell of love, no one could deny. So I'm going to show you guys two different versions of how you can play this song. One is without a capo, so this is great for all of you who don't have a capo. It does require a couple of bar chords like F and B flat, but I have a tutorial over here that shows you how to practice bar chords so that you can get them sounding good without the buzzing going on. And um, the other version is with a capo, but the chords are a little bit easier. So um, go ahead and pick which one you'd like to do and I'll show you both. So go ahead and skip to this time if you want to learn the version that doesn't require a capo but has a couple of bar chords. And um, go ahead and stay tuned if you'd like to learn the version that does have a capo but has a little bit easier chords. You're not coming down, it slowly turned you left. So for the capo version, you're going to need to have your capo on the fifth fret. So one, two, three, four, five. And you need to know five different chords and I'll go ahead and show you guys what those look like. I just walked away, I will always want. So to play the version of this song with your capo on the 5th fret, you need to know 5 chords. And the first chord is A minor, which looks like this. And sounds like this. Remember, the X's mean not to play that string. So for this one, we're not going to be playing this low E string. After A minor, you need to know C. So all you have to do for that is take your ring finger and move it up one string and one fret. So this is C, and it looks like this, and it sounds like this. After C, you need to know E minor, which looks like this, and sounds like this. Then you need to know D minor, which looks like this and sounds like this. So remember for this chord we're not going to be playing the low E or the low A. And then the last chord you need to know is F. And this is a barred chord, but it is one of the most common bar chords you'll see in songs, so it's good to get used to knowing how to do it now. It looks like this, and it sounds like this. go ahead and pause the video and practice through those chords a couple times until you have them memorized and then um, go ahead and continue and I'll show you a couple of different strumming and picking patterns that I think sound really great with this song. All you ever did was let me, I came in like a so the first strumming pattern I have to show you is the simplest and all you're gonna do is go through the entire song and play each chord one time. We clawed, we chained our hearts in jumped, never asking why. We kissed, I fell under your spell of love. No one could deny. And this will be a great way to practice kind of where those chord transitions are, as well as just get used to the tuning of all of the chords with your singing. So after you've gone through the whole song and played each chord once on the beat, you can go ahead and move on to the second strumming pattern, which is down, 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 up. And you're going to play this entire pattern through for every single chord. Down, 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 up, down. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up. We clawed, we changed.
can be applied through the chorus and the pre-choruses and even the bridge if you want it to. Now the third strumming pattern I have for you is kind of a faster strumming pattern. I think this sounds really accurate to the beginning of the song. So what you're going to do is for each chord you're going to play every eighth note and that gives you a total of eight times. So for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can play those all just as downstrokes. But of course it sounds a little bit echoey when you do it this way. So a great way to give it a little more flavor is to add in a couple of stressed beats. So what I mean by that is we're going to break these eight notes up into two groups of three and then one group of two. So instead of saying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you're going to give emphasis on the beginning of each group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another way you can think of this is counting in groups of three and then two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And in that case, you're going to be emphasizing every first beat, every one. So um, let's go ahead and do an example of that. But um, the way I like to play this song is actually more with picking pattern, so that's why I'm using my thumb. But um, let's go ahead and put that all together and see what it sounds like when we change the chords. my palm and I'm just kind of resting it down here so um, it kind of mutes the strings a little bit when you play. And it would work the same way if you were using a pick. So those are all the strumming patterns I have to show you guys. You can pick between any of those three or of course you can always make up your own that you feel comfortable with. Um, also a fun way to spice up any song is to do some variation so you can choose between um, strumming patterns 1, 2, and 3 and kind of like mix them up. I just close my eyes and that I've come up with for you guys. Um, the first picking pattern is going to be the same rhythm as the last strumming pattern we learned, the one with all the eighth notes. But instead of strumming each of them, we're going to be picking. So for this song, I figured out that if you play only the four middle strings of your guitar, you can play all of the chords, and it sounds fine. So what you're going to do is put your thumb on the fifth lowest string, your pointer finger on the fourth, your middle finger on the third, and then your ring finger on the fourth. So when you pluck all of these together, they have that kind of sound. And so no matter what chord you're playing, it still sounds fine. So you never have to change your right hand. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be picking the eighth notes just like we were earlier. is um, right now I'm using my pinky kind of as a balance I guess so that my other fingers can pluck without having to fall off the string each time so if you just lay your pinky right here it'll help kind of like stabilize your hand while you play. The other thing is to keep in mind that you can also apply the same stressed rhythm that we did earlier. The 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or if you like this way of counting better, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. 
So for this hand picking pattern, it's just like the last strumming pattern, you're going to play all the eight eighth notes for every chord. pattern I have, I kind of made it with the bridge more in mind. So the bridge of the song is where the mood kind of changes. So I wanted to make that part of the song completely different from the rest of it. So by doing that, I came up with this picking pattern. is with your thumb you're going to be wanting to pick the very lowest string in each chord. So for example it starts with F. The lowest string in F is our last sixth string. So with your thumb you're going to pick the last sixth string and then you're going to use these three fingers, your pointer, middle, and ring to play your top three strings. Three, two, one. Six, three, two, one. Sorry, I'm not barring it correctly. Six, three, two, one. So similarly, when you move to A minor, you're gonna be picking your bottom string with your thumb, which in this case would be the fifth string, but these three fingers will stay the same on the top three strings. Three, two, one. So this would be five, three, two, one. Five, three, two, one. And the lowest string in C is also the fifth string, so that'll be just like A minor. Five, three, two, one. Five, three, two, one. And then the last chord you need to know for the bridge is E minor. So this one's going to be like F. The lowest string is the sixth. So this will be six, three, two, one. Six, three, two, one. So for each of these chords, you're going to want to play that picking pattern through twice. So F, F, A minor, A minor, C, C, E minor. So an example of the bridge would sound like this. for the bridge is on the last E minor right before you go back into the pre-chorus I think it sounds better when you just play the pattern once and then just kind of let it ring while you finish your singing and then go back into the pre-chorus so another fun way to dress up just the bridge would be after you play your pattern six three two one you want to go back up the guitar so six three two one Six, three, two, one, two, three, five. Six, three, two, one. Six, three, two, one, two, three, five. And then same thing with A minor. Five, three, two, one. Five, three, two, one, two, three, five. C. Five, three, two, one. Five, three, two, one, two, three, five. And then E minor. Six three two one six three two one two three five. So I think that just sounds kind of cool when you play it along with the bridge. So let's go ahead and do an example of what that sounds like. I never meant to start a war. I just wanted you to let me in. And instead of using force, I guess I should have.
keep in mind for all of these picking patterns, I am keeping my pinky right here just to stabilize my right hand. I never meant to start a war. I just wanted you so before we play through the song together, I just kind of want to overview what I'm going to be playing in my tutorial. So for the introduction and all of the verses, as well as most of the pre-choruses, I'm going to be doing the strumming three pattern or the picking one pattern. And that's going to be the eighth note pattern. For all of the choruses, I'm going to revert to the strumming two pattern. And that's the one that sounded like this. For the bridge, of course, I'm going to be using my fancy picking pattern. last pre-chorus, right before she goes into the chorus the very last time, I think it sounds great if you just strum through it once to kind of build up the tension right before you go to the last chorus. Don't you ever say I just walked away, I will always want you. And then um, that also applies to the very end of the song. Yeah, you just strum it once it kind of um, does a nice job of tying together everything and ending the song on a nice note. Of course I will have all of this listed in front of you when we play through the song together. I just wanted to give you a heads up of what I would be playing in my cover version so that you could follow along if you wanted to. Don't you ever say I just walked away so hopefully you're pretty comfortable with both the chords and the strumming and picking patterns. Once you think you have everything down pat and you can play them without really thinking too hard, go ahead and click continue and we'll play through the whole song together. And I'll list all of the chords and lyrics and everything in front of you. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun. This is Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus.
Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus, um, version 1. If you'd like to go ahead and learn another version which doesn't require capo, then continue watching. Um, and if not, stay tuned to the very end for a special giveaway that I have. Fell under your spell of love, no one could deny. So if you're watching at this point, I'm assuming that you don't have a capo and you'd like to learn this version without a capo. So for this version, you'll only need to know four chords. Um, some of them are a little bit difficult, but like I said at the beginning, you can watch this video that I have on how to practice bar chords if that's something that you'd like to work on. Um, but if not, go ahead and continue and I'll show you the four chords you need to know. require capo, you only need to know four chords. The first chord is D minor, which looks like this, and sounds like this. And remember the X's mean not to play that string, which means you're not going to be playing the low E string or the low A string on this chord. After D minor, we need to know F, which is a barred chord, but it is a very common bar chord, so you should get used to playing it now. It looks like this, and it sounds like this. After F, you need to know C, which looks like this, and sounds like this. And then the last chord you need to know is B flat, which is another barred chord. It looks like this, and it sounds like this. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video and make sure that you can play through those four chords and have them memorized with fingering position and all of that. And um, once you're comfortable with that, go ahead and go back to this time, which was a time earlier in my tutorial, but um, this is where I showed you the strumming and picking patterns that you can use for this song. They're applicable for both versions, so if you're watching this, all you have to do is make sure you're playing the right chords, but with the same strumming and picking patterns that I showed you earlier. Then after you've watched the strumming and picking, go ahead and return to this spot right now and um, we will go through the entire song together. So hopefully you were able to pick up the strumming and picking patterns that I showed you earlier in the tutorial. Let's go ahead and put the chords, strumming and picking all together and play through the entire song. I'm going to have all the chords and lyrics and everything listed in front of you and um, yeah, good luck. This is Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus without a capo. We clawed, we chained our hearts in vain. We jumped, never asking why. We kissed, I fell under your spell of love. No one could deny. Don't you ever say I just walked
for Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my tutorial and if I was able to help you even just a little bit. And um, if you are subscribed to my channel and you leave a comment below, I wanted to thank all of you subscribers by doing a little giveaway. So um, if you are subscribed and you leave a comment, I will enter your name into my giveaway for a couple of guitar things. So the first thing I have to give to you guys is a guitar pick holder. So this comes in handy if you have a lot of guitar picks lying around. Um, I will also make sure to include a couple of guitar picks for you in this. Um, I will also give you a purple guitar strap. So this will be great for those of you who have a guitar but don't have a strap for it. These are really helpful for when you're standing up to be able to hold your guitar correctly and in position. And I will also give you this capo. It's a gold capo and I will initial it Forever Faithful as well as include the song title which would be Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus. And of course this wouldn't be a complete giveaway unless I also included a free private 30 minute Skype lesson. And that's a great opportunity for all of you guys who have been requesting songs that maybe are not as popular right now or just um, maybe people aren't as familiar with. So that'll be a great time for us to learn those songs together and I will go ahead and teach you any song that you want to learn or we can spend that time just talking or we can jam or you can listen to a couple of my originals that I have before I upload them on YouTube. It'll be a fun time so um, make sure to go ahead and leave a comment and subscribe and like my video and yeah! Hopefully I'll see you guys around on Skype. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope that I was able to help you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.